Hello everyone. Today I am gonna uh, start this tractor and uh, start fixing it up a little bit. Right, that took a little bit of struggling because I can't lock the wheels together. Uh, it's finally in, it fits. There's plenty of space on both sides, I guess. Well, less on this side, but should be enough to work on. But right now I'm gonna try to fix the generator because right now it doesn't output any voltage. So I'm gonna take it open. And hopefully this part is the right one, and of course it will put on the new cover, so let's do that. So here's the generator I took apart, and it has a different voltage regulator thingy. Alright, I went to the store to get a new one. As you can see, this one is smaller. Right, let me get the old one. So, very, very new and improved. Hopefully, it fixes the problem. Then, like, like so. Come on, man. Okay, boom. Alright, let's replace this thing. Uh, hopefully there's not a lot of oil here. Also, this one is slightly different, but... The guy at store said that this is the right one, so... If he lied, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have not uh, accurate temperature readings. So I'll attach this thingy. This is gonna be for all my positive connections. So, hopefully this will help with the cable management. It's just a little 3D printed thingy and this is just gonna connect up to the uh, positive terminal. And it's really nice thick metal, so it's gonna be able to stand the current easily. I just have to cut this off, so. So, I unscrew this thing. So, just remove it. There's some... Ah, uh, that's... Uh, very old <laughs> bugs. <laughs> Well, bye bye into the trash and then let's figure out how to attach the old one okay I got switches I got uh, spare lights because I actually broke this one oops I got all the dials very nice and I got a new dash just finishing up drying. It's not perfect. I'm gonna make a metal one definitely later, but for now I'll use this one. And I will also finish up all the wiring. This is gonna be just for the tractor running, I think. This is gonna be for the glow plug. This is gonna be for the starter. And now I'll start putting everything here together. And then, yeah, once the cables are all connected. We'll do a run test. This side is for the oil and this side is for the electrical system. Then here is the buttons, random switches here. And then there's a switch here for the dash lights. 
because some of these for example this one has a light in here that's actually pretty neat okay like that yes and then the amp meter another switch here I don't know what these switches are for, <laughs> but I just thought I should get some now for the oil stuff. I don't know if I told you in the video that I use these switches for the big tractor, but how you connect these is the middle one goes just to ground, and then this is where you connect your lights or whatever, and this is where you connect your battery. Or the other way around, doesn't matter. But the middle one is ground, otherwise the light will not work. Make sure the electricity is off when you work with wires, of course. This one is here, this one is here. Okay, hi everyone, it's me, uh, Editor Man. Don't forget to check out the official channel Instagram. Here you can find the Google link for the 3D files if it would uh, focus. And also here I just update random pictures, so follow there too. And uh, yeah, back to the video. I'm actually reusing the old connectors from the old thingy that used to be screwed in here because I forgot to buy new ones. These work just fine. A bit of heat. My lighter is a little important eye as well. This just goes somewhere to the positive. Now let's check it. No. Oh bad connection. It works! Ta-da! Green light. Right, that's pretty much all this. Just need to set up the starter light, oil pressure uh, wire, and then hook up the... no, well, temperature wire, and then hook up the oil pressure. Okay, hooked it up. The starter button uh, light, I figured it out. The one thing to negative and the other thing to here this little thingy turn it on look at this very nice this one that works very nice perfect not sure if this works and this works so we're gonna track the uh, so we're gonna start the tractor and check if there's oil leak there and see if everything works Okay, whoops. <laughs> whoops. So, okay, this one doesn't show nearly as high. Maybe there's some air or something in here. Not sure. Uh, but. The oil temperature still doesn't show up for some reason, but everything works pretty much. Also, the generator fix worked perfectly. Shows higher voltage now. Very nice. And the oil leak is actually because uh, the oil leak's happening because I actually busted the pipe somewhere, the tube for the pressure somewhere over there, uh, and yeah, it's. I have to get a new one now. <laughs> and then, yeah, I replaced this. And also, it might not be showing because there isn't actually that much oil in the engine. Yeah, <laughs> I'll find some oil perhaps and put in some more. And if it shows, then then uh, I'll know what the problem was with it not showing. I also replaced this one, but it should work still. Okay, well, something's wrong. I just ran the tractor and this thing isn't even covered in oil like it should be. So, I think there's something wrong in the oil system. The engine and stuff, it ran pretty good. 
uh, the oil pressure was really high though it was in the red on the new thingy so I'm gonna tear apart the oil thingy and see maybe it's clogged maybe it's full how do I move you <laughs> oh, okay just moves like this how are you doing sir this is pretty clean so here's the filter very nice uh, you just take off the top top bolt and the little washer then it just comes up super easily and open this of course you might need a big spanner like this but this just kind of came open on its own like an eye these screws should have very visible holes in them and it looks like they're kind of clogged just finishing up cleaning the oil filter I opened up the holes finally with some very tiny nails cleaned all little tiny bits out of both of these hole thingies and uh, I think we should be able to put everything together together now yes very nice very tight Okay, I put everything in place, it's all bolted down, very nice, works, everything works. Okay, so thank you for watching, it's gonna be enough for this episode, we got this new dash very nicely installed. Of course I'm gonna make it metal, because it's already, like, it bent and, yeah, but it looks, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Uh, next episode I'm gonna start taking off the floor, make a better seat mount, replace that sheet over there. The main things I want to fix are the cabin problems, you know, with like the handbrake being loose and like missing screws and like the hydraulics leaking a lot. And then replace the oil uh, pressure line thingy. And then do some stuff in the back here with these seats missing the circular thingies, and that's all messed up as well. Uh, also fix this because. Yeah, replace this because, yeah, and some more lights, figure out the steering system definitely though before that because steering system is completely messed up. Okay, thank you for watching, uh, click here to uh, look at other cool videos and, and here for uh, another cool video, subscribe. Okay, so thank you for... Oh, oh shoot. Turns out the, the voltage meter is supposed to go in this hole. Ah.